Hey, what's up, y'all? Let's see. Get this height right. Uh oh, we might have to move into the other room. Because, let's see. The sun is all in my face. What's up, Cody? Hope you had a better day than I did, bro. We'll talk later. All right, let's move into the other room. Get the sun out my face. You know what? We can chill right here. Chill on this desk. I think it'll be all right. Adam, what's up, bro? Cuz, bro. All right, y'all. So, y'all know that I always share the good, the great, the awesome, the fabulous, and sometimes the downright shitty. Um, and today was the latter. So today was a very challenging and trying time. In the grand scheme of life, I'm gonna look back on this and laugh, but right now it seems a little too real. I'm, I'm kind of salty about it. I'm licking my wounds and, um, you know, again, I make these videos for a couple of reasons. One, because I always want, um, you know, other entrepreneurs or people who are thinking about going to entrepreneurship. Uh, I want you to understand the emotional roller coaster that you will constantly be on. Uh, so I love posting these types of videos just so that people will know that it's not peaches and cream all the time, but it's not bad all the time either. And to be perfectly honest, I've been on a bit of a win streak, so it's been great. You know what I mean? It's like it's been a uh, it's been an absolute win streak over the last uh, you know a couple of weeks. Things are going well with Four Squares Development. Uh, things are going great with Four Squares Construction. Things were going good with Eden Mandate minus, you know, a tenant situation, actually a couple tenant situations uh, that I got to work through. Uh, more so headaches than anything else, but, you know, it's got to, you know, kind of work through those situations. The Fab Group Logistics Trucking, you know, uh, it's, one truck is running fantastic. One I've been having several issues with. And literally today I had a Leadership York meeting, tried to jump on the call my computer uh, would not, you know, Zoom wouldn't recognize the speakers, so that was a, a tough situation. Um, so I kept trying to like go back and forth between my iPad and the computer. People asked me questions, I couldn't answer it. You know, it felt really kind of foolish there. But uh, it's like, you know, how sometimes you wake up and you know something is off, but you don't know exactly what it is yet, but something's definitely off. And I woke up with that feeling, and I was like, man, I don't like how this feels. So, you know, um, I just kept thinking like, all right, no matter what happens, I have everything it takes to, to, to deal with it, so let's just do it. And literally, you know, it was Leadership York's meeting at 7.30 in the morning, but even before then, my phone had started ringing um, around 6.15 this morning. Uh, one of our drivers, uh, she was like, hey, look, the truck is acting funny, it's shutting off, you know, it's derated down to 55 miles an hour, uh, I'm gonna pull over. All right, so she pulled over, and the next thing you know, literally the truck would cut on and would cut off in like 15 seconds, right? It had like six active fault codes on it, uh, you know, making calls, calling, you know, a couple different mechanics that I have. Shout out to Ed if you're watching. Thank you, uh, Ed Cope up in Anvil. You know, Jason was on it. Jason Cora, I tagged you in this video. Thank you, man. Hey, Glenda, what's going on? Maribel, yeah, I'd always, I'm always authentic. You know, I always share the good and the ugly, uh, the awesome and the downright crappy. Um, so today, so again, you know, phone call starts ringing, text messages blowing up like crazy. The dispatchers want to know, hey, what are we going to do with this load? You know, it's on your truck. Your truck ain't running. We got to recover it. You know, what's happening? And uh, it was just, it just all this is swirling, right? So I'm trying to be on the uh, iPad on my Zoom meeting since I couldn't be on the computer. I couldn't really listen because text messages and phone calls on the other two phones. Um, so I just had to just excuse myself from the meeting. You know, I called. I'm like, okay, it must be the uh, uh, intake throttle valve. All right, cool. So called Freightliner. They told me they didn't have one in stock. All right. Do you have anyone nearby? You know, do you have any in Lancaster or Harrisburg or whatever? And then the guy's like, oh, you know what? I got to remanufacture one. I'm like, yes, please, I'll take it. So go up there. Jason is supposed to work today. He decides, yo, I'm going to take off work, man. I'm going to come down and help you uh, deal with the situation. So again, Jay, really appreciate you, man. Um, 
So come down, he comes down from York. So from Anvil to York, about 45 minutes or so, maybe 50. So he comes down here, we go to Harris, I mean, uh, Freightliner at York, we get the park. We uh, drive down to Maryland, cause she's literally right across the Maryland line at the way station. So we get down there and, you know, unfortunately she couldn't get any further. So she's literally on the shoulder on the side of the road. So here is my plea to anybody who is watching. Anytime you see a truck broke down on the side of the road and somebody's working on it and you can get over in the fast lane, the far lane, like give them a break. You know, it's difficult. It's a stressful situation when you got a truck down and then you got, you know, cars zooming by 70, 80, 90 miles an hour going down 83 into Maryland. Cause you know, when people take that little part of 83, they go on 90 miles an hour. I'm guilty. I've done it before as well. Um, so please do your, uh, do your, uh, fellow citizen of favor and just get over on the other side, right? It was very petrifying trying to work on this truck where, you know, other trucks and, and cars literally inches away from you. So anyways, uh, you know, Jay and I are working on this thing. We ain't mechanics, but we got a little know-how. Jay got a little more know-how than I do with mechanical situations. So we, we got the old, we got the hose off. Uh, we got the um, intake throttle valve off. Got that switched off, put the new seals on, put the bolts back in there, got the hose back on, got it clamped back in, fire up. Right, we're thinking this is good to go now. Fire it up, 10 seconds later it cuts back off and it's just like, oh, of course it couldn't have been that easy, right? Uh, would have been fantastic if it was. You know, I was supposed to meet with Cody today. I was supposed to get my air conditioning in the house looked at today. So all of that's just out the window at that point. So now we're back on the phone. You know, Jay's on the phone with uh, one mechanic. I'm on the phone with another mechanic. We're trying to call tow trucks. I'm calling Loves, I'm calling Pilot, calling local tow trucks, see what's up, calling service, because it's a computer issue. So I'm like, yo, I don't want to be towed if I don't have to, it's a computer issue. Let's see if we can figure it out. Um, unfortunately, nobody could do that. So uh, Ed had a guy that can tow, but he, could, he can't go into Maryland. Uh, his, his company is registered in PA. He does local business. And we're stuck two miles past the PA line into Maryland. So Ed had this trick. Thankfully, Jay was able to do it, uh, which is basically when the truck cuts off, which he was doing literally every 10 to 15 seconds, you know, turn the ignition off, turn it back on, pop the clutch, keep it in like at least fourth gear so it can continue to roll. So it probably did that 50 miles, I mean, 50 times in the few miles that we went, we had to go another two miles down take the exit to get back on 83 North, heading back to York so we can cross over the PA line so we can get the truck towed. Uh, of course, the tow bill is gonna be what it is. You know, anytime you tow on a truck, you know, it's, it costs money. And then anytime you go on the freight liner, they are $168 an hour or whatever it is they charging. Um, so, and then the part and all that stuff, it was just uh, a kick in the balls day. I always do. That's a given. I was brought up right. Yeah, yeah. Brian, I'm glad that your dad brought you up right, man. It was just, it was aggravating because literally, you know, there was no one in the other lanes. People could have easily just gotten over a little bit, but, you know, most of them didn't. A couple did, you know, but either way, it's just, you know, whatever. When you're having a bad day, it just seems like everything just exacerbates it. Um, but anyways, long story short, uh, we were able to get the truck, uh, up to Shrewsbury. So Jay literally kept clicking it off, clicking on, popping the clutch, rolling. Um, so anyway, long story short, I didn't make this video just to bitch about it. And uh, it's all part of the journey. Cody, don't throw my words back at me, man. Dang. God, there's nothing worse when somebody throw your words back. But you're right. It's part of the journey, man. It's one of those sucky days. And the only reason why I'm making this video is not to just whine and complain and moan and groan. But it's more so to exactly as Cody said, I recognize this for what it is. It's part of the journey. Uh, normally something like this happens uh, when you're on the path to something bigger. It's normally um, a tool to help you, to strengthen you, to you know, uh, increase your perseverance and endurance. Uh, it's also a good practice for detachment Right, so we shouldn't be detached, uh, attached to certain situations, whether good or bad, because a lot of times they don't really last too long, right? When you're super high, you know, that time don't last too long. When you're super low, that time don't last too long. Like normally, you know, and you really can't appreciate the highs unless you go through the lows, right? 
And so I've definitely been through the doldrums over the last uh, couple of years. And I've experienced some really, really cool times. I mean, like, there's nothing better than making a pitch to investors. And what's up, D? And then they say, you know what? I believe in your vision. I want to invest. That is, I mean, that is no greater feeling, man. But then another word, you know, uh, an equally bad feeling is when you get that call and broke down in the South Road because in your mind, you already start tallying up the dollars, right? Because if you call a road service person there, even if they can fix it, and it only takes 15 minutes, at a minimum, that's 300 bucks right off the gate. As soon as they hook up to you, add another couple hundred bucks to you, and then depending upon how many miles you're going, you know, obviously it's going to add up even more, right? So uh, you automatically just start tallying up dollars. Not to mention you're accruing costs with no revenue. So this is her first load of the day. So there is literally no revenue to cover the cost of this breakdown. And it sucked, right? So literally it just ate up me and Jay's whole day, essentially. Just got home a little bit ago. We ate. And uh, I had to go up to my room. So I'm like, you know, I've got a lot of negative energy on me right now. I'm not feeling it. Phone was ringing off the hook. And, uh, I just turned them off, went into my room, burned some incense and just meditated. And meditated to the point where I literally I just fell asleep. I was like in a train. I just fell asleep. And I woke up and I feel better. I'm like, you know what? This was a lesson. Uh, I don't think I handled it as well today as I normally do. Normally I can handle a lot of things that come at me, which... Pretty much every day, multiple things come at me. Um, I tend not to do a video about everything. I tend not to cry and complain about a lot of stuff because I know it just in passing. But then when everything converges all at the same time, you know, it gets a little overwhelming and stressful. Um, but, you know, during my meditation, it's like, you know what? Look at the grand scheme of things. Uh, what you say, Brian? Life's a roller coaster. You always have your ups and downs hanging there, buddy. Thank you, man, for the encouragement. You're right. And that's the other thing too. It's like you know, I can't, I can't be too down about this crybaby Adam. <laughs> you come do this, bro. You come do this. I, I think you'd have some uh, difference of opinions. But then again, I mean, hell, you've had a whole lot worse uh, and more intense situations than I have. Uh, so I, 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 I give you that. But at any rate, um, you know, I say that. <laughs> Yeah, I think you, you've been in foxholes and trenches, bro. I, I, can't even com I can't compare none of this to what you go through. And that's the other thing, right? So when I was in meditation state, I'm like, you know what? At the same time, man, you know, there's so many great things going on. And uh, one of the, one of the uh, activities that I read in the book that you do when you're feeling down and like, you know, in the dumps about certain situations is you immediately go into it and you start counting things that you're grateful and joyful about, right? So I started thinking like, man, I'm in great health, good mental state. You know, I have both my parents, which is a blessing. You know, I live in a great house. You know, I got some nice vehicles. You know, I have the money to actually afford to pay for these repairs. You know, I got good drivers. You know, got plans for good, you know, I got good business partners, got good friends, got great family. And you know, and when you start going into that, you look at it, it's like, crap. All right, you got all these wonderful things going in, going on that... A lot of people would trade places in a heartbeat for, uh, and I'm whining about, you know, wasting a few hours and a couple, you know, more, more than a couple thousand bucks, $3,000 on an incident. You know what I mean? So it's like when you put things in perspective and you come out and you detach from that situation, then you realize, you know what? Yeah, it sucks. Don't get it wrong, but there's far worse things. It could be, you know, a lot, uh, more significant than it is. And more importantly, you know, you've got a lot more things to be grateful for than things to be upset about. So all in all, I'm saying this to anybody that's out there that's going through a rough patch, uh, any entrepreneurs that's coming up uh, through the ranks that you're thinking about, should you do it? If you got any questions as to whether it will be peaches and cream and rosy all the time, the answer is no, emphatically no. Uh, but will the good times outweigh the bad? Maybe not, but would the quality of the good times outweigh the quantity of the bad times? Absolutely, positively, yes. 100% yes, no doubt about it. I would not go back and trade it for anything. You know, I would not go back to my old job. You know what I'm saying? Got that expensive ass Fiji water to be thankful for. 
Yeah, you know what? Uh, and I do sip it with my pinky out too sometimes too, now that you mention it. But yeah, <laughs> I am thankful for my Fiji water. But yeah, man, so like literally, uh, I was sitting up there and I'm like, you know what, I ain't work out today. I'm gonna go burn off some of this energy. And that's the other thing too, right? So, you know, I'm thinking, I'm like, all right, here I am whining and moaning and bitching about something. And I come home to absolute comfort and I get to go downstairs. Let me show y'all um, what I'm about to go do. I'm about to put in, sweat this out and then go take me a shower. Maybe have a nightcap and go to bed. Anyways, so what I'm about to do that I'm extremely grateful for is I get to come down here. And I'm about to put in some work. And Adam, it's for you too. I'm holding you accountable, man. You told me to be your accountability partner. About to put in some work on here. Oh, yeah. Adam, Adam is the king bartender, man. Nobody uh, that I know can make drinks like this dude. So, yeah. I'm about to throw up some of these dumbbells. I'm definitely throwing them on 90 today. Ratchet it right on up. Crank it up to 90. We're going to crank these up to 90 tonight. Definitely got to burn it off. Um, yeah, I definitely need to align my back. I'm going to hop on my inversion table. I'm going to come over here to my favorite piece of equipment and definitely burn this up, but not before I do at least 15 minutes on this baby, uh, on my uh, adaptive motion trainer. And I'm definitely going to spend some time over here punching out all these demons that's been in my truck over the last uh, few weeks. So, yeah. So all in all, I say all that to say, thanks for listening to me and paying attention. If you're going through a rough patch, it won't last. Just persevere through it. This is just a lesson in endurance and you're gonna really appreciate the good times when they come. Uh, but you gotta take, you know, you gotta take the bad with the good, unfortunately, sometimes. But just know that the quantity of the good always outweighs the quality of the bad and life is good. So. At any rate, love all y'all. Adam, I think Hunter tried to call me yesterday, man, but I was in a meeting, literally. So I will try to give y'all a shout after this, man, see what y'all up to. But at any rate, D, hope you're working out today. Brian, thanks for jumping on. Who I miss? Cody, I got some news for you on the house, man. We'll talk. Mary Bell, thanks for chiming in today. Love y'all. Have a great day. Have a greater week. A fabulous weekend coming up. I'm already talking about the weekend. It's only Tuesday, but I've already had like a full week just in these first two days. So anyway, ciao. Talk to y'all later.